Hello everybody, Luke back once again, this time to break down everything we know about the brand new Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order 2. This has been long rumored, long speculated about, but now we know EA intends to turn this series into its own franchise with multiple games. And we're going to be breaking down everything we know about the new game, everything rumored, leaked, and more, all in this one video. First though, if you're new here, do me a big favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, it really does help us to grow this brand new channel, and hopefully we can help you learn something new about new games coming out, gaming news, and so much more. So let's take a look at everything we know about this new Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order 2 game. Now, EA may no longer have exclusive rights to Star Wars games, but they do have exclusive rights to this particular franchise. EA has confirmed that they plan to turn it into a long-term franchise, hoping to continue to build on their success of Star Wars games with the games they still have exclusivity to, including this one. We do have some leaked details, though, to give you. Past that, very little is known about the game, so let's dive into what we do know. One of the things we know is EA likes the game enough to give it a next-gen optimization to prepare. So Jedi Fallen Order, the original game, is been announced for PS5 and the new Xbox games. This has been said to be kind of a way to get Xbox um, X and PS5 owners into the franchise preparing for the new game to come out very soon. Uh, we'll see how that all plays out. Even though details have been thin, leaks started to come out back in February of 2020 that EA was developing the game and had big plans for it. Now, according to reports for the story, EA plans to go fresh start with it. Now, the original game ended in a way that allowed for a sequel, but it didn't really tie them too much to the original game. The story concluded, they wrapped it all up, and while many of the main characters were still alive, EA can really go anywhere they want with the game now, and they plan to take advantage of it. According to reports, EA still plans to set the time frame of the game between the original prequel to a trilogy and the original trilogy out there. So in that time before A New Hope, telling the rise of the Empire, the fall of the Republic, the downfall of the Jedi before they become, once again, a major part of the galaxy that we'll see in later versions of the movies. So we'll have to keep a close eye on this, see how it all plays out. But EA has kind of said, without saying it, and it's been rumored and leaked, that this plans to be a fresh story that builds upon the original game without being too heavily tied to it. We'll see a lot of the same characters and more, but we won't be locked into a world where we have to finish a story started in that original game. The good news for fans of the original game is reports are the original development team with many of the original members are once again back working on the next version of the game for EA. How that exactly plays out is unknown at this time, but it is good news that people who made the original game are very invested in the second game, and hopefully they can strike lightning twice with this franchise. The release date has not confirmed, but it is rumored to be 2020. Some reports have it early in 2020. Some reports have it later in 2020. So really, it's anyone's guess at this moment when that game will be coming out. But what we do know, according to leaks and reports, that this will be a next-gen exclusive game for the Xbox and PlayStation 5. So if you want to play the game, you're going to have to go get the next-gen game. Now, I really enjoyed the game. The question many people want to know is, as we get closer to the New Hope trilogy, will we actually get more cameos from characters we have seen from the Expanded Universe? Will more of the movie characters appear, or maybe characters from other video games that have been roughly set in the same time period appear? A lot hope that we'll see that. We'll have to wait and see. What we do know is EA intends to try to cash in while the iron's hot on this franchise that really became a success way beyond anything they had expected according to internal reports. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order was expected to be a big game, but not to the extent that it was when it came out. The question now is, will they be able to catch lightning in a bottle twice and have just a successful game? Very often, the second game is not nearly as good as the first game, but there are rare exceptions where it can even exceed the first game and really make the franchise what it becomes. Now with this becoming a franchise game, don't be surprised to find prequels, side stories, and more that have nothing to do with the main storyline. So that raises a question, will we even see the main characters in a new game here? Though early reports suggest we will. We'll have to keep a close eye on it. But for now, if you're new here, do me a big favor. 
hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. And hopefully we can help you learn something new about the world around you when it involves video games. Thanks for your support. I really appreciate it. I'll be back with another video real soon.